Hi, my name is John Walsh with The Logic Group, and a client sent me a pattern, uh, it's an HVAC pattern, and I'm going to trace that and save it as a DXF file. Now when I get a new pattern, the first thing I like to do is sort of take a look at the pattern and decide how I'm going to digitize it. Well, from here to here, I have a line. From here to here, I have an arc. From there to there, I have a line. From here to here, I have a line. And then from here, I have a curve. So I'm going to digitize that as a curve. It ends right about there. And then I have a line. And then here, I have a curve. And then he, at the end here, I have another line. So that's how I'm going to digitize the thing. So I'm going to come into my software. I'm going to click the four points first. This just blows everything up on the screen, so it makes it a little bit easier to see. Just digitize the four corners. It blows it up on the screen. I'm now going to change the line thickness to three, make it a little bit easier to see. And then I'm going to click Trace Start. I'm going to start with the lines. And then I've got all for that line, I'm just going to digitize the endpoints, that point, that point. Now I'm switching to an arc, so I click arc on the screen. I do the midpoint of the arc and the end point of the arc. I now have another line. I come in here and do that point of the line, that line, and that line. As you can see now, I'm, I'm getting the, 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 tra the pattern traced. I'm not going to switch to the curve fit. So I just come in here and I digitize that curve. It's a series of points. And then I switch to a line. And I go to the end of that line. And I now switch to a curve. And I digitize those points of the curve. And then I switch to a line. I go to the end of the line. And then I click stop and it connects it. And there I have the pattern, a great pattern. Come in here and click file. I'm gonna save this thing as a DXF file. I'm gonna call that HVAC and click save. And then I can load that DXF file right into my CNC software. If you have any questions about this product, please contact me. Thank you.